Hello and welcome to our channel and right now you will get the review of Neo Polaris and we will talk more in specific about their launchpad, a promising uh, project which is actually intended to support other developers. So we will go through all the details of it. The, through the video of course so stay tuned because a lot of important and interesting information is going to be ahead neo continues to promote innovative blockchain projects for the neo and three ecosystem through the neo polaris launchpad event which offers prizes totaling five hundred thousand dollars the hackathon phase ended on the 30th of may with the presentation of the hackathon winners and the final stage of the Polaris launchpad is going on. So it's going to finish on the 28th of June. So you need to be ready for the winners of the launchpad. And of course, I will give you a link. It's right below the video. Um, the link where you can vote for the projects, the ones that you personally feel that they are ambitious for you to vote for them. Uh, okay, so, so far there are some projects that already have been elected um, and for example, Excellence Awards, Fidio, Fine Truman, Neo Ethicent and others and in uh, like general main winners like Bamboo, Pumpkin Swap, Dutch Rift, 2.5d and others so i want to go a little bit in details of um of what polaris makes a difference in so um they actually uh prepare developers for uh, from concept to competition with a series of panel discussions hands on workshops one-on-one -on -one consultations and access to a community DAO. Winning projects will be admitted into NEO's $200 million EcoBoost program for incubation support. So what type of, um, of projects? DeFi projects, NFT and Metaverse. And exactly, you can see the, uh, the amount of prizes. General infrastructure dao and the timeline and we can actually uh, concentrate more attention on this final stage which is gonna it's gonna finish on the 28th of june so polaris plus is a bonus funding round in which the neo community chooses the winners polaris plus voting will take place through the dora hacks website from the 8th of june till the 28th of june so you can already check the link below this video for uh for this uh for this link and uh you can um you can vote for the project that you like but i will actually go to this stage where i will I will show you how it works and how you can vote for the winner and NEO gas token holders will use their um, funds to vote for projects they want to see implemented on NEO. NEO will then match those votes using quadratic means. The quadratic voting approach facilitates a fair distribution of funds to support projects in the collective community. Polaris Plus is an innovation invitation-only phase of the Polaris Launchpad event. A select set of high-profile hackathon entries have been invited to participate, regardless of whether or not those projects have won hackathon awards. Invited teams who manually join the Dora Hacks platform on the on the 8th of June are eligible to compete. In addition, because of the structure of the Polaris Launchpad, the total prize pool that can be distributed to hackathon participants is $442,500, depending on each team's performance during the planathon. So, and the remaining the remaining sum will be uh, will be donated to uh, Polaris Plus. 
So in total, 22 projects compete uh, in the event, and I'm gonna show you some of them. So that same website, Dora Hacks, where you can leave your, your vote. So in total, more than 1500 votes uh, have been received already. And uh, I, I think like, let's go through some of them. For example, find Truman. Yeah, like find Truman. This is um, a web two game app for online and offline LARP with 30 million users, nearly 100 game studios across Asia, over 1500 authors and creators under contact and over 20,000 copyrights on their Web2 platform. They, they've already received 373 uh, votes and uh, I think they have a lot of chances to, to win. Uh, what else? Let's, for example, take this one. Dodge rift and um, get more information about it it's a game fi build on neo so players use their nfts as playable characters to earn tokens which can be used in game to improve gameplay on traded for uh, on uh, um, improve gameplay or traded for profit and players use their new wallets as in-game accounts to log into the game and NFTs as in-game characters and items. Let's go a little bit to the top. There was this one, Neo E5 Cent. And uh, this is also one of the promising projects. And... I think we need to get more information about that. And for example, yeah, let's go to it. <clears throat> so this is Neo based mobile dApp and wallet that improves cash out processes and integrates it with Rapid. Biggest payment processor in the world to improve financial inclusion in Mexico and Latin America. So this is super easy. I mean, like you can go here, you can check all the information that you need to know about the, the project, about the team. And of course, you can follow them and eventually vote. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. All the important and useful links are below this video in the description box. Uh, I'm really impressed with with what these guys do because Neo Polaris and their launch pad is something uh, important for the industry, important for startups, important for those who want to learn something important. And I wish good luck to them and I wish good luck to participants <clears throat> of this project. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna see you very, very soon. I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.